Skoda don't just have one innovation at this year's IAA, they have many. But the standout car amongst them is the new estate version of the Skoda Superb. It's the absolute king of space. But Skoda also has a king of distance driving and a new more powerful version of the Superb amongst many other new models. To be honest, it can be a little bit overwhelming, but that's why we're here. Just a few months after the new Skoda Superb was launched as the leader of Skoda's model range, the IAA seized the presentation of the new Superb estate. As you might expect, it's hard not to use superlatives when describing it. There are no fewer than 31 simply clever details that really bring pleasure to using the Superb estate in a subtle but significant way. The large estate also impresses with its comfort, whether through adaptive chassis control or its new three-zone climate control, to name just a couple of features. The Superb is a great success. Our flagship produces new emotions with style, and our customers feel the same way. We only introduced the sedan at the beginning of the year, and already we have many new orders. And the estate is now here as a world premiere on the stage but has already been ordered since June. The first orders are a really great start. We're very pleased. When it comes to security and connectivity, the estate clearly benefits from its membership to the Skoda Volkswagen Group. The technology of the widely used modular transverse matrix allows the car to offer well above average interior space. The luggage compartment of the Skoda Superb Estate can hold a whopping 1,950 liters with the rear seats folded. But it's not just luggage there's plenty of room for, the passengers have more than enough room too. The rear legroom is twice as large as the closest competitor. It's always amazing just quite how much room Skoda managed to get out of their estate cars. Lars is not exactly a short person, but look how much space he has at the legs. And even more amazing, headroom at the top. That really gets my respect. Users of the new Superb Estate don't just get a lot of freedom, they also get plenty of comfort and ease of use. A so-called virtual pedal under the rear bumper allows the electric boot to open with a simple wave of the foot. And parking maneuvers can be carried out on request using the latest generation of the parking steering assistant, Park Assist. The imposing appearance of the new Skoda Superb Estate is matched by its drives. The new model uses up to 30% less fuel than its predecessor, while producing up to 20% more power. The ultra-sporty options available throughout the Superb series are delivered through Sportline, a dynamic design edition which is seeing its world premiere here in Frankfurt. The car is lowered by 15mm, features sport suspension and special 18 or 19 inch wheels, which together give the car its dynamic sporty look and feel. There are also plenty of extras in the interior and optional DCC adaptive chassis control. The new Superb Sportsline can be ordered with all available engines. It isn't surprising that the Volkswagen Group can produce highly efficient cars, but Frankfurt celebrates the world premiere of the new Skoda Estate Greenline. The Czech top model, a 1.6-litre TDI with 120 brake horsepower, delights with an efficiency of just 3.7 litres per 100 kilometres driven, resulting in an amazing 1,780 kilometre range until refueling is required. Skoda's particularly sporty Monte Carlo range has now been expanded to six vehicles. The new rapid Spaceback Scout line adventure is here in Frankfurt with a contrast look. The compact estate is a new representative of the popular crossover style between estate and SUV with outdoor styling, as known for some time from the Audi Allroad or the Volvo Cross Country. Finally, there are two powerhouses that complete Skoda's innovations here at the IAA in Frankfurt. The Octavia RS 230 and the Fabia Estate R5 sit mightily with 230 and 279 brake horsepower respectively. The Skoda Fabia Estate as the R5 version is a really big standout of this year's Skoda stand. And it really underscores the idea that they're trying to get away from their former good value but not so exciting image. With so many new innovations on show at this year's IAA, this could turn out to be Skoda's 